Hey everybody, so I just wanted to jump on here and leave my review for Royal Dolls Matilda, the musical. This is the Tony Award winning musical. And if you're familiar with the 1996 version of Matilda, which I have a copy of right here, I can never seem to get rid of this movie. And of course, why would I? This is my childhood in a nutshell. It's my nostalgia. It is the reason why I love movies for the most part, because as a kid, I watched this movie so many times on repeat, you have no idea. But again, if you're a child of the 90s, then you understand. Maybe this was also a movie that you just gravitated toward as much as I did. I happened to see Matilda for the first time when I was five years old. Yes, I don't know if that dates me to be really young or old. I can't tell, I'll let you decide. However, I saw this movie as a double feature, this and Harriet the Spy, which happens to be another personal favorite of mine as a child. But the reason I reference this one is because of that and the book by Royal Dahl, we now have this musical adaptation of the same play, or excuse me, of the same book, which then got turned into a play and of course, a musical, which is so special. And I had actually never seen the musical, heard any of the soundtrack or anything until the movie on Netflix came out. Now that I have, this is something I really want to dive into just for a moment. Now, in case you're not familiar with the story of Matilda, she's a girl kind of born with very unique abilities, very special talents. She has the gift and ability as a six-year-old to kind of like do mathematical numbers in her head that are just out of this world, read way beyond her comprehension level and so many more things. And at the age that she's supposed to be in school, her parents haven't put her in there yet. But of course, now she has no choice. She has to resort to school, which of course is exactly what she wants. And as soon as she gets there, she meets some wonderful friends, a lovely teacher by the name of Miss Honey. And in this version, it's played by Lashana Lynch. But as you guys may be aware of, of course, again, you're familiar with the story of Matilda. There is a bully here at the school and it is the headmistress, Miss Trunchbull. And in this case, that is played by Emma Thompson, who does an incredible job. Pam Ferris did an exceptional job as Miss Trunchbull in the original movie. And I don't think anyone could top that. And as much as I love Emma Thompson, that's a really hard, you know, card to call because Emma Thompson and Pam Ferris both do wonderful jobs, you know, in their own separate lanes here as the villain, Miss Trunchbull. Now, just kind of seeing Matilda done with a musical aspect and seeing the music behind it, I actually thought it was very charming. I really enjoyed seeing what they were going to do with this take on it, adding music as the backdrop. And I got to tell you right off the bat, whether you like the movie or not, there is no discrediting the amount of talent that went into this. The children in this movie, the dance numbers that they had to learn, all the choreography, top notch. It is something I look at and go, I can't do that. It would take me months to learn these dance moves. And yet these children are making it look so effortless. I was so impressed. It's like when you see, and I, I know this is gonna sound silly, but when I reference High School Musical, watching just how the choreography from the first one to the third one just got increasingly better. I was so impressed by just what kind of dance skills these kids have. But then again, this is even bigger because these are children, not so much teenagers. And I was just so blown away. I thought the dancing and the choreography, all of it was wonderful. I thought the music of the movie was really fun. I thought the look of the movie was really great. I thought Alicia Ware, who steps into the roles of Matilda, excuse me, steps into the role of Matilda, did a wonderful job with what she had to offer. And there was really nothing about the movie in terms of you know, harsh criticism that I would give it. Not that I ever try to give a movie too harsh of a criticism. The movie itself kind of does feel a little laggy at times. I do feel like there were times where it just kind of felt slow. Didn't really feel like it was picking up. Some of the musical numbers I didn't love so much more than others. But overall, I did enjoy myself um, from beginning to end. And just, again, based on the fact alone that these children poured their hearts and soul into what was given to them in terms of choreography, and the, you know, the spectacles of everything that we're seen or that were shown on screen, I just thought it was lovely. So Matilda the Musical, which is currently streaming on Netflix, it's a Netflix original, I think is worthy of your time. I do think there are a lot of notable qualities about it that are going to really just resonate with you, especially if you're a fan of the original movie. I think you'll really appreciate just what they took from that, the book, and just really hyped it up even more so with this musical element in the background. So it's a lot of fun. It's not the best movie I've ever seen. And again, there are things about it that I would have removed or musical numbers that I didn't find all that special. But overall, I do think there is something about this movie that just I keep thinking about. And there is something really special about it because it's a movie that I can't really compare to the original because it's its own version. It's a musical, but it's also kind of taking that story, adding its own spin and just doing something else with it. So I'm trying to separate both movies from over here to here. And I do think there's a lot about the musical version that is noteworthy. 
So if you're a big fan of musicals, I do say check it out. Again, it's it fits perfectly right at home at Netflix because you get to just be in your comfy clothes, you get to watch and just kind of take it for what it is. And I think because of that, it is worth your time. So I'm gonna give Matilda a pass. Matilda the Musical is one of those movies that you must check out just for the sake of entertainment, but also because again, the talent that these kids offer and deliver, great A. And again, if you haven't seen the original Matilda, watch this first just for fun and just because I recommend that you do. Love this movie so much. And then when you're done, please watch Matilda the Musical and just, you know, keep that storyline and just see like what this does for you in terms of the original and this one. Again, they're two separate movies, but you can still watch one and then appreciate the other. And just, I'd love to know what your thoughts were. If you've seen both of them, please drop your comments down below. If you haven't seen the musical, but plan on watching it, let me know what you think when you have. And let's talk about it because I had a good time for what it was worth.